Hey peoples, Karina here coming to you with this video. As you see, the title is below. <sighs> About to walk into work. But I wanted to make this quick, quick video before I did. Some people will leave your life because they are afraid to deeply look at themselves in the area that you deeply look at yourselves. Sometimes people don't always leave your life because they hate you or y'all going through whatever. Sometimes people don't leave your life for like arguments. Every parting of some things don't always have to end in chaos. Sometimes if a person or people are like admiring you and they're working on areas in their life that you're working on too, but then the moment you start tapping into other stuff that you don't even know is a secret trigger for them and they start watching you work on yourself in an area that they have the same issue in maybe, it's not that they backing away because they don't want you to succeed sometimes no sometimes people not everybody but sometimes some people will back away from your life because they know that being close to you at specific times in your life and you open up and start really looking at hurtful things from your past that made you feel act do whatever you do they back away, but God said they still watch it. Be like, okay, if this person is diving in head first with this issue that is extremely painful, and the other people watching you have dealt with that too. So, I mean, it's fair for a person to say, nah, I don't want to do it right now. Let me, let me see you do it first. That's fair. That's fair. Because sometimes people won't get the strength to start working on themselves until they see somebody else do it. Which is, that's that's basically where God wanna get my twin. But right now it's like, it's, it's dangerous to try and tell a person how to get over something or how to do some type of a work if you're not doing it because you cause more turmoil on yourself. It's like, in this season right now where I'm at, I'm looking at things for what they are more than I used to. Okay, so it's like this. We make time for the things we love. We make time for the people we love, right? We make time for the people we value in our life. Sometimes you'll be making time for people who really feel like it's a chore to talk to you. Sometimes you'll be making uh, time for people who will tell you, oh girl, I, I hope you get it. I hope you do this. I hope you do that. But then they looking at you being like, mm, that's hard. That's hard. Like for this person to go do this one thing on their own. Sometimes Satan will purposefully cause people to leave your life and then there's other times that God when I say sometimes Satan will purposely cause people to leave your life like they will how do I want to say it like how can I put it into words that it'll make I can make it make sense like to anybody watching sometimes Satan will put it in the mind of other people oh what they're doing they're not supposed to be um, they might to, oh, I need the words. 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 Sometimes Satan will put people, put thoughts in a person's mind and make them think, oh, this person wants to be 
thinks that the world is going to be perfect around them. They, they, you know, they living in la-la land, having all this hope. You see how the world is. Nothing's going to change. This person is crazy for wanting better in said particular area. We weren't put here on this earth to suffer. We weren't. So if a person parts your life for that reason, you can't, you can't even be mad. You know what I'm saying? Other times, people will see God like, see you obeying God when he say, look at this part. Look at that part. Look at this part. Look at that part of your life. Do it. How bad do you want to get to where you're trying to go? Do it. And so I do it. Because I know what I want. You know what I'm saying? And when a person sees that you can do what you need to do and that it'll work for you, they'll attempt to do it. Now, keep in mind, though, if a person's spirit is not as strong as yours, when they start trying to work on the bad parts of themselves, they're not going to handle it as well as you would. And that's the thing. You got to know where your strength comes from. That's the thing. You have to know where your strength comes from. And it's got to say something about the power that God put in you when people just refuse to. Some people will know what you need to do. And they won't tell you nothing because they feel like, wait a minute, if I really push this person to move forward in their life, I fear that. You know, they're going to show everybody all of this love and all of this potential and all of this whatever. And I'm not in that place. So if I pretend to be happy and encourage others and the people actually take my words and apply them to their life, that they will somehow become better than me. And, and it's sad that some people think that way. It's like, it shouldn't even be that type of way. It shouldn't. Everybody has their triumphs. Everybody has their defeats. And I'm talking low because there's people around. Everybody has their triumphs. Everybody has their defeats. But when you can dig yourself up out the mud by yourself because people are afraid to be on the same wavelength as you and really look at their things that have happened to them in their life. And you could, you could pull yourself out of the mud on your own without people holding your hand. Or I mean, every now and then you may have a person encourage you. Hell, sometimes it might even be a total fucking stranger. But here's the thing. When it's meant for you to get somewhere and you doing your best, spirit will help you. Spirit will help you and hopefully will cause those who backed away from you to get inspired to start facing the hard things in themselves, be it a twin flame relationship, be it a whatever work anything at because you got people watching you that you think ain't watching you some people are wanting to see can you really face certain things about your life and yourself how do you handle it or do you feel it come up and go no 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 I don't want to deal with that just let me stay in my mess some people think that material things with no peace is a blessing. I'm like this. If I can sleep at night and I live in an apartment, that I keep clean, I got what I want to eat every day, my necessities and my needs are covered, and I actually have hope for my future, then I have everything. I have everything. But when a person only says, oh, look at God, he's blessing. He's blessing, he's blessing, he's blessing. I got a big, beautiful house. I can, 
You know, I got a pool in my backyard. I got a jacuzzi in my backyard. I have this, I have that. But you ain't got no peace when you go to sleep. When you wake up and you look over at the person that you woke up next to and you feel disgust, regret, defeat, hurt, pain, then you gotta really look at that. Blessings are not always external. Without internal peace, outer things mean nothing. So I will talk to y'all later. Bye.